Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Linux apologist, Gardner. So we have the Librem 5 and we have the Pine phone uh, with Manjaro here in the office. And uh, I'm actually going to compare them. I'm gonna do like some, some usability benchmarks. Now, I'm not the kind of guy uh, who has ever cared about like boiling performance down into numbers. And I don't think you can get the Pharonix test suite on uh, either of these devices quite yet. But we're gonna play around with these devices and just do some real basic comparisons. How fast does the web browser launch? How quickly do these devices start up even? And uh, we'll see how they compare to each other. Let's get started. This one's charging because the battery does not last for jack squat on this thing. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and start these at the same time. I might end up uh, synchronizing the startup moment in post production, but let's just go ahead and do this real fast. So we're gonna test which one starts up the fastest. And it looks like the Lemur 5's already ahead here. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh. I'm gonna turn the brightness up. Come on. There we go. We'll turn the brightness up on this one too. So here's the brightness test. Now the Librem 5 is like significantly brighter. Uh, that, they're both on maximum brightness right now. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. The Librem 5 is, is brighter to my eyes. Uh, also the color reproduction is significantly better here. The Pine Phone screen is warmer. Um, and not in a good way. It's warmer like... Uh, like this should be like a, a, a gray, but it's like a warm white on, on here. I, I've taken the SIM card out of this phone um, where I have the ability to send and receive text messages. In fact, I'm gonna send myself a text message. All right, so we can text. So we say, here's a test text, whoops. And I'll make sure the screen is on, and then we'll hit b BAM, and there it is. So you can see text messages work. I just received that text message right there on my Android phone. Now unfortunately, when I put the SIM card from this phone in the Pine phone, uh, I can make text messages, but I can't receive calls, and I also can't get on 4G. I can access 3G but not 4G. It might be something to do with the uh, antennas. I'm not sure, but it doesn't It doesn't seem to work quite right. Um, so let's just see what happens when we try to launch Firefox on each phone. Now I'm loading the internet on 4G. I should probably get on Wi-Fi actually. But again, you can see the, hopefully you can see the color difference on the two screens. This is like a yellow. The the, the white background should be yellow. Um, let's try going to uh, a new a new page. Can you please? It also doesn't seem to be as um, touch friendly. Uh, let's do, what's a good test website? DuckDuckGo.com Duck Duck What? Oh my goodness. It's so much harder to type on the screen. Go.com Also, it's not optimized for uh, mobile. I'm not sure what the difference is. Ready? Three, two, one. Fascinating. Oh, I'm still on 4G. What the heck? Why am I not on Wi-Fi? <sighs> oh, my Wi-Fi is off. 
That's why. <laughs> uh, all things being equal. All right. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit enter at the same time. Three, two, one. Fascinating. That is absolutely fascinating to me. I wonder why that is. Uh, let's try launching chess. Three, two, one, go. Chess. The Libram 5 wins on that one. Uh, let's try... What else do I have? Geary. Three, two, one, Geary. The Libram 5 is the clear winner there. Although I don't have the same mail accounts open. I don't know if that... Uh, is a problem. Let's do usage. Three, two, one, usage. Yeah, the Libra 5 is just ever so slightly faster. All right, let's open up the settings. Three, two, one, settings. Did I not hit the button on both? Three, two, one, settings. Yeah, settings. There seems to be more settings on the the Manjaro phone. Um, let's go to details, and then go to about. All right. So on the Manjaro phone, we have one point nine. Uh, gigabytes, which is about two. We have about three on the on the Librem five. Um, we have an unknown graphics chip, where it's Vivante. We actually have a newer uh, GNOME version on Manjaro than we do on the uh, on Pure OS here. Um, also, the fact that we're running in dark mode on the Pine Phone, um, which on a phone I feel like I would rather have a dark mode. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, Super Tux Cart isn't available on the Pine Phone. That sucks. Um, see, the Librem 5 is actually capable of doing Super Tux Cart. So if we set... Now, it's not quite intelligent enough to change the orientation of the device. But uh, if we change the device orientation manually, we launch Super Tux Cart, it should start playing no problem. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how, oh, oh yeah, okay, they have a, um, oh, you have to hold over here, that sucks, that's not good, but it looks like we're running at about 30 frames a second, it could, it might be a little slower, but you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm running at probably 30 frames a second. I actually don't know how to test. Uh, oh my goodness. It's very hard to control. There are a few frame rate issues. Um, it's not consistent. But it works. On the Librem 5. Super Tux card. That's kind of impressive. The controls are not very good. I'll, I'll, I'm going to say that. Oh. Oof. No, don't fall off the edge. Oh, well. What the heck was that? Anyway, that's that. So I'm going to try and make a phone call. I'm going to call myself here. And there it is. I'm calling myself. Hey! Hey! How's it going? There's echo. There's echo. There's echo. There's echo. Test. Test. 
you can see, you can see that, I am talking, that I am talking, but I don't want there to be an echo. But it works really well. Um, and uh, people, people, some, uh, I made a phone call and posted a picture of it on um, the internet. And people were like, why is the time different between the two calls? It's like, because from here, the time counts from when you answer the call. From here, it's when you place the call. So, like, when your phone is ringing, it doesn't start counting until you answer the call. Anyway, that's funny to me. But that's that. So we can make calls. We can use 4G. You can send text messages. Now, you might be saying Instagram. Yeah, that's right. It's a progressive web app. PWA. Um, now I'm loading over 4G. I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi uh, right now, so uh, it might take a second. Um, but there it is. There's Twitter. We will be closed today. Stay safe and see you again tomorrow. I love that it's like use the app and the app doesn't exist uh, for this platform, which is funny. The PWA is the app. Facebook. Oh yeah, look at that. There's me. Yeah, so uh, that's Instagram. Now there is, uh, if you look at the difference between the pre-installed applications, I haven't added anything to this uh, device. Like everything on here is a pre-installed application. Um, however, I have added a bunch to here. I added Animatch, my bank uh, PWA, uh, Firefox, I added Instagram, Password Safe, Podcasts, I added uh, Screenshot, Super Tux Cart, Tootsie, Twitter, and What IP, and Tweaks. I've added a whole bunch to here, uh, but this comes with like more of what I would consider like the basics for a smartphone. For example, having a sound recorder, a podcasts app, a music player, Fractal. Uh, Fractal will eventually, or Matrix support will eventually be added into Chatty. Um, but like having maps, I don't know if this is gonna work. That would be really cool if it does. Because I've tried installing maps on here actually. Look at that, it actually is working. Wow. Uh, let me try installing maps on here. Okay, Gnome, Gnome Maps right there. Install that bad boy. This is a sand, this is a uh, flat pack apparently. Now the nice thing about um, the nice thing about this is that if you scroll down when you're on the app page, if it says sandboxed, that means it's a flat pack. Um, that's really awesome. All right, we'll close that. We'll go down here. So we have maps there, and we have maps here. Three, two, one, maps. This one might be slower to actually load the maps because we're on 4G. Interesting that the Pine phone actually loaded maps faster. Oh yeah, there we go. I like that icon way better than that. That's like literally the Google <laughs> Google Maps icon. This device doesn't have drivers for the camera yet. Uh, but this one does, and I can tell you right now that these cameras are hot garbage. They are really, really bad. Uh, and now you can see, yeah, I mean, let me just take a picture. Uh, this is, I mean, this is just unacceptably bad. What? I look terrible in this. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe that. I look really bad. Just for uh, comparison's sake, I'm gonna take a selfie with uh, my other camera. It has to be the lighting. It has to be the lighting. The camera on the on the Pine Phone is is just the worst. It's so bad. Honestly, quite interesting results. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with how this video turned out. I'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, were you surprised? by the performance between the Librem 5 and the Prime phone? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Is there something that I should test 
uh, between the two, let me know again. Um, but I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show over on Patreon. Um, without them, I would not be able to do this. So I want to say thank you to my patrons. You guys are truly amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. Uh, I, I'm doing more Librem 5 content. I have a huge video coming out on Monday. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.